Hello everybody. The engineer is back in the garage again. Working on this uh, beautiful straight six engine. It's an L28. It's going to go into my project car over there. It's a 240. It's really a beautiful engine. It's all uh, painted up. It's all been cleaned up. It's bored about 40,000 over I think. And uh, I'm just kind of getting ready to degree the cam. Want to make sure everything's in the right spot. Here's the uh, cylinder head. I'm waiting for a couple small, uh, the lower tension compression springs. And uh, here we go. So I've got this Moroso degree wheel, which is beautiful. It's big, but it's just beautiful, beautiful piece. I'm using some. Um, hanger and I'm going to attach my um, my top dead center finder here my stop which goes on top of the cylinder here and I've also attached a couple flywheel bolts over here at the back back of the crankshaft because I'm going to use those to turn to turn the engine in the other direction while I'm trying to find top dead center instead of trying to do it over here at the crank. So uh, I'm gonna just get this attached and uh, we'll start again. Hang on. So I've got my uh, my uh, number one cylinder stop attached, and I'm gonna put the uh, the camera back into the tripod here, and I'm gonna we're gonna rotate the uh, crank clockwise, and we'll see what we get. I got a 27 millimeter socket here. Gonna rotate it. Here comes the cylinder. It's coming up. And we're gonna hit somewhere before top dead center. And there, I got a pretty solid uh, feel there. So I'm 30 degrees before top dead center on this side. So now I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to use my screwdriver. And I'm going to turn the crank in the other direction and we're going to see where it's at on this side. Putting the screwdriver in between the bolts. I got the bolts pretty, pretty well run in. I'm not damaging anything. And there I hit the stop and I'm at five degrees. So I think what I have to do is I have to split the difference. So I was at 30 and now I'm at five. So I think what I want to do is I want to be at 30 and 5 would be 35, so 17 and a half. So I think I want to be at 17 and a half here. So I'm just going to loose up, loosen up this bolt a little bit. And I'm going to just rotate this until I'm at 17 and a half or so. Right about there. Okay, so I'm at 17 and a half, and now I'm going to go back with the socket in the other direction, and I should get 17 and a half in the other direction, or I should be very close. Here it comes. And... 
I'm at 17 and a half. Look at that. You can see the pointer. It's right between the 17 and the 18 there. I'm just going to go back in the other direction just to uh, check it again. Why not? We're here. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Okay. I'm going to go back to the back of the crank with the screwdriver. Hit the stop and I'm at 17 and a half again or just a little over 17. So I think that looks pretty good. So I can take my, my stop off and I've, I've effectively found top dead center. So now when I, when I, when I do rotate it to zero, that would be the true, the, true top dead center. So I'm gonna take off my, my stop real quick. So with the Z car, because the cylinder head is going to go on here, and it kind of overhangs a little bit, I'm going to have to be kind of careful with this pointer. Shouldn't be too bad though. So we got a little bit of a dwell at the top. So here I'm at, oh, it looks like it's about eight degrees or so. And there's my top dead center. Right there. So like I was saying, what I'm gonna have to do is when I mock this up for the degreeing, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take the wheel off, leave this pointer right where it's at, and don't touch it. Don't move it, because if I move it, then I'll have to start over. I'll put the cylinder head on, put the wheel back on. The chain's going to be in there. The chain's going to be in the way. So, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see if I can do it. I think I can. I'll talk to you later. Bye.